have, we have really good conditions in that we've got an excellent place for taking off and landing. Um, and there's almost no wind, which is, which is great, which means we should get some pretty good flight time out. COSTEC is, it stands for the Commission of Science and Technology and it's, it's the government body which is responsible for, amongst other things, leading the country in new innovations. So COSTEC have taken this on to understand how drones could be used to then advise um, other, other sections of the government. So the, the initial interest was to map uh, a very flood prone area in Dar es Salaam to get Aerial imagery which will show clearly the impact of the flooding straight after the floods. The other reason was to get detailed elevation data, which then can be given to city planners to predict how flood waters or rainwater will move through the area and so can appropriately plan. And as you can imagine, drones get a lot of people talking, so Ministry of Lands was about to start this, this, this very large land tenure project. They heard about what Costec was doing with drones, so they came by and said, look, can we have a look at the kind of imagery you're producing? They took one look at the images and they said, yeah, this is the kind of resolution that we're looking for. We want to offer titles to the farmers. We have a very big problem because in farmers and uh, <laughs> cattle herders, you see? So the boundary, boundary must have to be defined correctly on the ground. Changamoto zazotokea kwa mani megogulo, mipaka, mashamba. Mtu utakuta shamba lake, analijua mpaka hake, lakini utaona naingia kwa mishamba la mweza hake, ukimuliza daili shamba langu. Kwa sababu uongozi kama hivi, atuna alizi ya kutulupimiwa na kumiliki, na mtu hati miliki, atuna kwa hivi tunajirimia tu. Kwa hivi hapa megogulo lazima yuwepo. In Tanzania, the last photography was in 2008 because the expenses to cover, to cater for the aerial photography is higher and that's why we go for other alternatives. Other alternatives is like using the satellite imagery and now the technology of UAVs. The, the UAVs are unmanned aircrafts. You don't have pilot, you don't have a crew member. There are a lot of things that you are saving. So that's a very simple technology. basically shake it three times, it comes on, you hold it so it gets leveled, it's ready to launch, then you flick it up and it, it goes. It's got a consumer camera in it and it's taking hundreds and hundreds of photographs and overlapping them and recording the geolocation of each and every photograph that it takes. So when we come back to the office, we take the, we take the photograph, use a piece of software which marries the geolocation with the photograph, then launch it into another piece of software which takes all of the images and stitches them all together. What's most critical in this is the imagery because it's going to be used for identifying plots of land. Natarajio kama vile ukisha pima ya maeneo, unalima tayari, au kuna njia uzo zote za mkopo, unaweza kanipati ya mkopo, nikapata mkopo, na nikafanya mshuguli ya kulimia tayari, nisha limia tayari, hini nikajikuwa mwa katika shuguli za maisha. Because of the use of this technology, the land tenure team is now going to be able to issue 300,000 land titles, which is going to significantly affect the lives of many people in Tanzania. For me, there is no better result.